By the time the fine episode had brought me the tape, he was very disillusioned indeed. <laughs> He'd been taking it all around for a few months and had absolutely no joy. So I listened to it, it had a lot of potential, so I got them in for a session. And I remember they were a bit nervous, a little bit wet behind the ears. So I remember saying to them, if there's anything you don't like, you know, don't forget to tell me. And uh, George Harrison looked at me and he said, uh, well, I don't like your tie for a start. Um, which on, absolutely <laughs> But uh, I, it was the kind of thing that warmed me to them immediately, really. I mean, they had a tremendous sense of pride. But it was Paul who originally came up with the idea of Sergeant Pepper. A lot of people think it's a concept album. It actually isn't. The first two tracks certainly do give that impression, the segue from Sergeant Pepper to with a little help from my friends. I always felt that George Harrison would prefer to have more of his own songs on the Beatles albums. But of course, when you're competing against Lennon and McCartney, your work's cut out for you. <laughs> Having said that, John and Paul were always very encouraging. And this was actually one of the rather nice things about working with the Beatles. They didn't have any of this ego nonsense that you get with a lot of supergroups. In the early days, particularly, John and Paul had a very relaxed attitude towards songwriting. Um, for example, uh, Can't Buy Me Love was written in a hotel room. And they just sat down and knocked it out. <laughs> They'd uh, stopped writing together quite so much. They'd still contribute to each other's songs. Uh, people working out for example is a good example. <laughs>